Greetings, Susan Spillman here. This is a, the next update on uh, the Bali situation here, uh, from, from my view, obviously. Uh, the figures I've gotten are from um, the Bali COVID-19 update that Jackie Pomeroy is doing. And uh, that continues to have the most general information and specific information, actually, uh, about this situation. So um, just to start this off, um, the situation has changed quite, quite a bit since my last update. The main thing that happened is that we had a huge spike. We've had a huge spike in cases. And this appears to be related to people coming from other, con other uh, regencies and islands into Bali. Um, the timing is that way. It, it didn't start until a week or two after uh, we opened the Bali borders to other uh, people from other islands. And so no one's really talking about this uh, publicly, but uh, it, it appears that this is the case. So anyway, we've had a huge spike. And now just to look at my numbers here, we have um, total cases now are 7,543 and the active cases right now are 1,271 and we've had 199 deaths. So these are numbers as of yesterday, the 19th here. So you can see, I mean, this is a huge, huge change. I mean, we used to be very kind of slow and, you know, not many cases, that kind of thing. And Related to this, there seems to be some issue with the testing. So the testing ramped up for a while, and now it appears anyway that the testing is declining again. And uh, so who knows what this is all about, really? There are, of course, many different views about what this is really about. Uh, for me, I think one of the main uh, issues here is how how do you make a decision between health issues and economic issues? Because the, the people in Bali are really suffering. Some expats as well, expats who had jobs here, who had like real jobs here, uh, of course are not working as well for the most part. And the Balinese are really suffering economically. And the whole economy in Bali is suffering economically. And then we have the health issues and, and what's happening there. And I think from my view, we don't really know what's happening. Uh, we don't know what's happening with the testing, how much testing, um, who, who really is transmitting this uh, virus. I think no one really knows this. In fact, in general, that seems to be uh, the case. And uh, I'm, I'm reminded of HIV. When HIV first came out, uh, people were very, very panicked about it. Uh, they thought they could catch it from people left and right. And it took years, years before people understood HIV, uh, how it actually is transmitted and what you can do about it. So I think we need to start uh, looking at the long term, the long perspective on this. Uh, that's my view anyway. Um, so anyway, to get, a, to get back to uh, Bali per se, um, we now have a hundred thousand rupiah fine if uh, the police catch you without a mask once you leave your compound. Uh, they've done a little bit of uh, checking on this and uh, in South Bali uh, with mixed success. Uh, many, not many, some foreigners have refused to pay the fine and uh, so their names have been sent, apparently, to immigration. So I hear. I don't really know this for sure. But, but in any case, what's happened is really most Balinese and foreigners now are, are wearing masks when they're outside, when they're in public, when they're on their bikes, in their cars. People have very mixed feelings about this, but mostly are complying with that. Um, so it's, it's had a big effect. And, and when we had Galungan the other day and um, a big, big ceremony, 
just driving by, seeing many, many Balinese dressed up and going to temple, they all had their masks on. So it, the, that fine has really made a difference. It's really gotten the message, at, uh, at least to Balinese, that uh, this is serious. And uh, so that's, that, in my view, is good news. So let's see, what else? In Ubud, oh my goodness, I've, I've been in Ubud quite a bit recently, and it is like deserted, um, even more so than a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, things seemed to be opening up a little bit, more shops open, that kind of thing. Now, um, just this last week, it is, it's, it's like a desert. Uh, there's like no one even driving in Ubud. And uh, of course, no one on the streets. And some of the shops that were open seem to be closed now. Um, it's really uh, getting more more serious in Ubud in terms of uh, the economy shutting down. I hear that in the south, it's quite the opposite. In the south, uh, in Uluwatu, that area, maybe Kuta as well, uh, people are very lively. They're having parties. They're, they're kind of uh, just back to normal, not the new normal, the old normal. Um, so, uh, so it's very different what, depending on what part of Bali you're in. So um, anyway, I wanted to just uh, give you a brief update on, on the latest. Okay. Any questions, uh, please let me know. Okay. Thanks.